new Pokemon Snap. What is up folks and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we are gonna play new Pokemon Snap. Hello. Hi there, I'm glad you made it. Welcome to the laboratory Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences or Lens for short. My name is Mira. I'm researching Pokemon and the natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, so yeah, and that's not all. The professor gonna study every single island here in the Lento region. No one's ever done an ecological survey survey like this before. It's gonna be amazing. Huh? No one? Are you forgetting a certain explorer? <laughs> Oops, good point. You read you read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? But, but even counting him, Professor, your survey's gonna be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Well thanks. This is Rita. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. Jeez. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. <laughs> ah, yes, that's right. And I appreciate the help. <laughs> anyway. Now before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Yeah. Right you are. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Okay. All right, allow me to explain. The Lento region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photogra photographing, photographing those Pokemon's, pho photographing those Pokemon's help us learn more about them and their ecosystem. Mm. And that's exactly what you're here to do. By the way, at night you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. Okay. I got the same one. We can use them to uh, communicate with each other and the rest of the team too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here. So take good care of it. All right. Oh. <laughs> Awesome, right? <laughs> the prof the professor invented it. Professor. Can I explain it how to use it, professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go outside. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, perfect timing. Try getting a shot of that Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Hey. Oh, okay. Now why don't you try moving the camera to line up your shots? Okay, so let's try that. On the center of your left stick to move the pointer around, the camera will give it a try. You can point the camera up and down and even spin all the way around left or right. Okay, perfect. You can use motion controls to aim your camera too. Okay. Oh, look. Got it. Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu. <laughs> Okay, I'll try. Yeah, okay. Did you see that shape appear around Pikachu? Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. Okay. It'll be important when the professor's evaluating your photo. Try okay. saving a photo. That's it. Great job. Let's go. Pikachu's a little far away. It looks kind of small. Times like this call for zooming in. Okay. To zoom in, just hold the ZL button. You'll see. Okay. Try snapping a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. Oh. Got it. Haha, <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, great. You can adjust your camera. 
camera and motion controls from the settings menu. You can also Thanks. adjust them from the pause menu while you're out doing research. Got it. Hey, Professor, we've covered the basics. Okay. Hello, Hello Professor. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. First of all. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I read them using my special scouring system. Pick which, pick whichever shot you think are the best. Okay, we took two, I think. Didn't we? Oh yeah, we got three, that's right. Pikachu. Uh, this one is probably the best, I think. Okay. Yeah, we only got one photo of that, so <laughs> that was pretty easy. So yeah, we're gonna evaluate that. Starting with photo number one. Pikachu. That's a good photo, actually. Oh, it's Pikachu. This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. Oh, and there's... Uh, is there some data of how it is? Size? Or something? Maybe in a bit. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of stars a photo received doesn't affect its score. Every category is... Every category is important. By the way, the camera keep, keeps locks of what's happen, happening. When you took each photo, the data helps me categorize your photos. Let's move on to, score, to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high, uh, high pose score. Now on to the other factors. Size is straightforward, the larger your subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in your photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice balanced photo. And finally, you get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now I know that was a lot of info all at once. Let me boil it down, remember this and you do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. With all that in mind, here's your evaluation. Okay, is that good? Looking good, hard to believe you're a beginner. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Nice. The Vervillion. <laughs> that was a hard name to pronounce. Next is Vervillion, a new addition to our research. Okay, nice. Okay, was that good too? Remember getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. Okay, got it. How was it? What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out uh, your very own Pokemon photo decks. Nice. That would be a great milestone to work toward. Right. That about does it. I think it's time. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. Okay, exciting. Now that. that should about do it. See this part. It'll carry you on your photo photography expedite experience. It's, yeah, something. <laughs> it's called the new one. It's the best, it can teleport uh, too far off places in no time flat. I finally put the finishing touches on it not long ago, with a little help from someone I know. You see it? Make, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Come on, professor. The details can't wait. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Lab on it and touch your camera to the console. Okay. Let's try. Whoa! I can feel the vibra vibration in the Joy-Cons. That's nice. Good luck, you got this! Thank you. Oh my god, so exciting! First adventure.
Whoa! Oh! Can we take a snap of that? Okay, we got it. Okay. Can we get another snap of that? Oh my god, that's a nice Pokemon. Bidoof. Can we get another snap? Uh, oh yeah, I need to remember we can zoom in. Um, okay. Oh! Yeah, got it. Let's go. Maybe we can get a better snap uh, right up here. Here in front, so it's facing the camera. Yeah, that was a good shot. Oh wait, there's one is the tree too. There's two beetles. Is that a magic cop? Yeah. Okay, and what we have here? A swanner. Um okay. Is there any more Pokemon around here? Okay, we got another photo of it. Okay, is there any up here? No, I don't think so. Okay, this is so beautiful actually. The map is so beautiful. Oh, got it. Let's go. Whoa, there's a Pokemon. Okay. A comfy. Okay. I've never seen that Pokemon before. Marks the spot where you'll teleport back to camp. Oh. Oh, there. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you. I hope you had a good time in Florio Nature Park. Anyway. Now just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. Um, what photo is best? Yeah, we only got one photo of that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we got some options. I think this one. The Magic Hub only got one. A Swarna. I think this one is the best, maybe. And then this one. Because there was two Pokemon in it. And this is the only one, so yeah. And I think that was it. Yeah, evaluate. Okay. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, that was a good picture, picture I think. Oh, it's Dodrio. <laughs> a new addition to our research. Thank you. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice way to keep it up. Okay, that was a pretty good score, I think. It's actually decent. Okay, that picture is so cute. We got the uh, Grookey. This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. Nice work. Thank you. Remember the closer? Yeah, we already know that. Oh, yeah, I have to press a button, okay. That was a cute picture. Thank you. Uh, not the best score, I think, we got so far. But it, I think I'm pretty satisfied with the picture, because I think it's so, so cute. Two small Pokemons go together, it's so cute. Bufferland. Okay, nice. Great timing. Uh, not a good score, I think. Yeah, that was not a good score compared to the others we got. But yeah, nice picture. This was a actually pretty decent picture, if you ask me. 
Okay, new record. That was pretty good. That was some good pictures. Uh, I like this. Oh, wait. Okay, this got the better score, so we're gonna take that. Okay. Beetle, that was the best picture I've got, probably. Um, but yeah. We got the photos, and that's what's matter. That is what matters. Okay. Wormpool, that was a cute picture too. Um, because it looked, uh, it looked a bit in the camera, but we got a bit from the side, but it was actually a pretty good picture, if you ask me. Oh, that was a good score. Wait, that was a new record, wasn't it? That was a new record. I think so. Oh, that's a good picture too. I like how it's just sitting there and looking, looking straight out in the air. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, I love this game. It's so fun. Magikarp. That was the only picture I got, but it wasn't that good. Um, yeah, pretty far away, but thank you. Thank you. Not a good score. Eh, compared to the others. Swana, that was the best I get. Uh, where you could see the face. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, that was actually a pretty good score. Okay, that was a good score. Wait, what? I didn't expect that. Okay, that was actually a pretty good picture too because there was two in the picture, so I think that will give extra points uh, if I heard correctly at first. Um, okay, that was a good score too. So yeah, pretty satisfied. Vlogis, that was a pretty... Uh, it's pretty messy that picture, but uh, I think it looks pretty cool, pretty beautiful. Okay, decent score. Yeah, okay, that was actually a good score. Okay, was that all? How was it? So what did you think? Anyway. It was amazing. One last thing, let me tell you about the uh, research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you make there. Once that level goes, uh, once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category, category from one stars to four stars. So in short, fill up the Pokedex. Keep that in mind, and you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with the Pokemon you have along the way. Our research in this world is just getting started. I'm sure you're more than up to the task. Oh, we got a gift? Wait, what? Photo, photo program newbie. You researched Florio Nature Park for the first time. I got a research tile. Uh, another one. Look this way. You got uh, a score of... A uh, thousand points or more in the direction category. Okay, but that was pretty much it for the video today So I want to say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one